Ay, yeah, look, ay Stay on leash for the energy I ain't worried, give a fuck about the enemy Beat his ass, got him thinking it was ten of me That's why tonight I'm on the weed I didn't really think anything was gonna happen on live stream. And come on, you know something what God is going to do in 2020. Well, let's pray together. Father, we love you today. Our presence, wherever we are, is evidence of your faithfulness. It's worship, it's appreciation, it's gratitude. And the quality of our life is going to be determined by our ability to handle what you didn't see coming. This is unnerving and this is unsettling for those of us who are like me who prefer the predictable. It's uncomfortable for those of us who do not like disruption control. And what's weird is we need to relinquish what we really don't have. So we're relinquishing the illusion of something for peace's sake. Because the idea that we have control is an illusion because we don't. We have responsibility, but not control. We have influence, but not control. Control is an illusion. And when you attempt, you and I attempt to take on the responsibility and the weight of control, when we're carrying weight, we're not conditioned to carry. And then our mind and our body begins to respond in inappropriate ways to send you a message that you weren't designed to carry this. You've been designed to focus on today. You haven't been built to worry about tomorrow. Because while you're sleeping, I'm the God that never sleeps or slumbers. While you're trying to figure it out, I'm the God that's already working it out. That's God weight. You get today, I got tomorrow. We have not been created to carry. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. It's currently Sunday. It's currently, what time is it? Ooh, looking at my new watch. It's like five minutes till 11. I got this new watch, by the way. It's the Nord Green watch. It is so beautiful. They actually gave me a discount code for you guys too. If you use the code Renee, you can get 15% off. They're just really sleek, beautiful watches. I really, really so I'll pop them down below for you guys. Popping in real quick while I'm editing this video, I forgot to mention that Nordgreen does give back with every watch that you purchase. They give back to a non-profitable organization. The three that they work with is Cool Earth, Pratham, and Water for Good. I just wanted to shout them out for that. I think it's so important and so special. Every watch does come with a band. They're also interchangeable, so you can you know swap out the bands if you want. They have so many different colors, sizes, and materials. You can also get a vegan leather, which I think is pretty cool. It's a Scandinavian design by Jacob Wagner, who is like a well-renowned, super respected designer. I just thought that was worth mentioning because I think that's an amazing thing that they do. So yeah, back to the video. I actually took a few days off of vlogging. You guys probably don't know because these videos are still in schedule. I got an IPL treatment done. So I was kind of just letting my face breathe a little bit um, and just resting. You can't really tell, but it's like flaking off. I have makeup on and a lot of sunscreen. So um can't really tell but my face is healing properly and yeah i woke up this morning had some coffee i watched get this a live stream of a church service so i recently came across this specific pastor i think his name is like stephen ferdinack or something like that i'll pop his name here um it was just like a random youtube video about like when life knocks you down or like when unexpected things or something like and honestly i think life right now for a lot of people it's just like so crazy to the point where we're kind of like searching for answers and ways to deal with it and stay positive because i really 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 don't want this chapter of my life to make me into someone i'm not i've been looking at life very negatively i'm not as happy and you know positive about life um and it's just really something i don't want to become and so when i clicked on that video he just mentioned a lot of things that totally made sense and I am not, what's the word, like a hokey person. I got into the law of attraction when I was young. I really do believe in positive thinking and looking at life positively. I'm not so much as like serious or 
strict about spirituality as I was I think when I was younger I think I was just a little bit naive and just believing things because they're happy and I didn't really go through anything in life so I, there was nothing really to question or doubt my life and good things happen when you think positively that's just inevitable and you start looking at the good in life and your life becomes happier and you become a better person i've always been a very positive person and looked for like signs and looked at the good in life and the good and bad situations and that's just been kind of like taken away from me this year to be honest with you guys so when i found this pastor i was like everything that he's saying it just like resonates with me and it's realistic it's not hokey it's not like preachy i grew up going to church i went to church i was like christian baptist i think um and every time i would go to church i would just like sit there and look at the people and please don't take offense to this but i would just be like this is not my thing like it just like i got bad vibes i don't like the preachiness of it all taking things so literally i think every single religion has amazing life lessons and um i think taking them not so seriously and literally but applying them to modern day life is something that i think is very beneficial and there's a lot of good things in there that i really do value but when it becomes preachy and putting yourself in like this box of you have to live like based on this reading and tech like i just it's just not my thing so i've never been a super religious person but i really liked this pastor and it was like watching almost like a ted talk um he is obviously a pastor so he uses the bible and i think it's southern christian baptist or something like that i don't know like if you believe in the universe or god or whatever you believe in i think there's something much bigger than who we are i definitely think like the universe in itself is something that's just unexplainable so i definitely believe in like a higher power or the spiritual side of us like i think we're much bigger than just our physical bodies um my airway is going sorry i'm like obsessed with this thing <laughs> um yeah i've always kind of just looked into things that were bigger than myself and i definitely feel a push and a pull towards whatever that is so you can call it god you can call it the universe but i listen to it and when he says like god i mean you guys i guess you can call it god whatever but you can also look at it as like the universe and his like just this church is just it's so amazing he they're they are preachy in a sense but it's not the way that i grew up going to church it's very like modern day life and how the bible and things that you can take away from that text to apply to your life now i hope that made sense i wrote some examples down i like when i watch it i literally get teary-eyed like it's really crazy i start crying i think just because everything in life lately it's just <sighs> i feel hope when i hear these words um and i like i don't know i just really like it it's called elevation church i'll leave their information link down below i'm gonna start watching them every single morning at 9 30 on sundays they have like a live stream and i think they have other times too so if you're in a different time zone everything that they say i'm like yes 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 it's like watching a freaking ted talk you know so the pastor today was i don't know his name because i don't have my phone but i'll pop his name here he was amazing and i wrote down some things here that resonated with me that i felt the need to share with you guys and when i say like god or the universe like put whatever you want in there like life like whatever the case is and you can relate it to your life without being like hokey pokey you know one of the things that he said is just because you're surprised in life doesn't mean you're not prepared for it life throws you things that we are not prepared for that we think that we're not prepared for but we've survived like literally a hundred percent of our bad days we're still here like the fact that it's happening doesn't mean that you're not prepared and we tend to like resist bad things that are happening in our life there's just a lot going on in life and even though we're surprised by everything happening we are fully prepared to deal with it. He mentioned something about a manner. I don't know like the Bibles, but he, if you do, it was basically like, if you can manage this manner or this time period in your life, on the other side of it is something that is worth seeing on the other side. Another one that he said was sometimes God or the universe, whatever you want to believe, gives you what you asked for in a project. So you can sit there and say, I want this to happen in my life or the law of attraction, whatever you want in life but you're not seeing it but sometimes it's given to you in a seed and you need to take that and use that to hustle is what he said or like grow it sometimes it's given to you in a seed format and 
you may not see it like you're not just going to get everything that you want just handed to you sometimes you have to work through it and sometimes that journey teaches us and gives us way more than what if we just were handed whatever we were asking for. And then another thing he said was, things sound worse, but faith, prayer, spirituality, whatever you wanna say, hasn't been better. So it's very true. Like my, this may sound really crazy, but when my dad passed away, like, I don't know how to explain our relationship. I don't wanna talk about it too much because it is very personal, but I've never been closer to my dad. I know like I talk to him, like I just feel him and I've, I like look at him in a different way and even though the bad happened, I have never been closer to my dad. I've never felt him and seen him and me ever this much in my life. Um, I've never had a better relationship with people in my life because now I don't take things for granted and I look at every relationship as like the most beautiful thing and like cherish these moments and COVID and all this other stuff happening and being isolated, like I appreciate and really hold value to my relationships and things in life now that I wouldn't have been if none of this happened so yeah things sound really bad right now but like what has been the epiphany that you are taking with you now that you didn't have before this like yes it sounds really bad right now but x y and z hasn't been better and it's so true um and then he also said the manner okay so i don't again i don't really know the bible that much but he said and the manner ceased which is like, I guess a quote or something in the Bible. And it's basically like, it's temporary. It's a temporary provision. So sometimes we're so busy looking for the miracle that we don't notice that we're in one right now. And that's so true. I've been sitting here like waiting for my life to start going again, but what if this, like I always too like, okay. In life, when I was in college, for example, I had this life that I wanted and this like ideal lifestyle that I wanted and it didn't happen for me for whatever reason i just wasn't getting what i wanted and i was getting so irritated but now i look at my life and i'm like whoa i would way rather have this life than the life that i wanted back then like our temporary suspension of something is literally making us and giving us something way better than we ever expected or if you look back in your past and you were praying for the things that you had now whatever is happening right now is the miracle that's happening and sometimes we're so busy looking for that that we don't notice it's happening right now he says gratitude is the seed for more so instead of sitting there complaining about something when you have no idea that you're actually in a miracle right now be thankful for where you're at right now and every time that you sit there and be thankful for your life you can see the good you see the gratitude and that is the seed for more gratitude and that i guess correlates to the law of attraction in a way because you're thinking positively and you notice and see better in the world and you that exudes to you and then another one is a blessing is a curse if you're not ready for it um that like gave me chill bumps i'm like sometimes in life you could ask for something but you may not be prepared to deal with that for example he said something like you may be blessed with a promotion but you're not ready to handle the pressure that comes with that it's like you have to trust the timing of your life and you have to trust the delay in your life if there is ever a delay and just trust the universe you know trust god whatever it is for you you may be blessed with influence but you may not be prepared for the hate that also comes with it so with every jump up in life you're gonna get something else that's gonna be bigger problems you know that thing it's like more money more problems it's more success more problems like there's every thing that is a jump in life you're gonna get something that you never knew was gonna be a problem in your life that you now have as a problem and that's adding on top of every other problem that you have in life so if something isn't happening as quickly as you would like for it to be happening trust it trust the delay trust the timing and just keep living presently and just trust it you know just trust it because a blessing is a curse if you're not ready for it and then he said something else that i was like whoa um and that is control is an illusion if this was one of this is the one that i needed the most i am a very controlling person i like to plan and prep and have my life paved a certain way i like things done my way the perfect way i understand that's a problem but the way that he said it is like when things are thrown at you, i.e. the death of my father, COVID, everything going on right now in terms of black lives, like 
all the hate in the world right now it's thrown in our way and we think holy crap like whoa 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 and we start resisting it and and getting upset and angry because that's not what we planned that's we weren't prepared or we weren't expecting that we are not no longer in control life is just being thrown at us in 2020 which is so true we get upset because we no longer have control but guess what we never had control to begin with like ever we can't control our lives to a T. That control that we think that we had, that we think that we lost, is a freaking illusion. Like, we just lost our idea that we had control. We never had it. So why are we sitting there getting upset? Because we never had something that we think we lost. And it's so true, I'm like, hello? Control is an illusion. And when things happen to you in life, you think you lost control of, you never had it in the first place. So when you think that way, it's just kind of like pressure released off you. There's nothing really you can do. You can only live in the moment right now. We just got to take life for what it is. And all those things that we had control over that is being thrown in our faces, that's just our present. And we have to deal with the present instead of sitting there like getting upset about it because it didn't go with our future, our idea of what our future was. I hope that made sense and I hope that you guys got something from this, but I, I don't know, I really, really liked it. Um, and there are just a lot of aha moments in the Elevation Church like community or like the, what are they called, services. I just really like it. I'm gonna start making it like a Sunday ritual of mine to watch and take notes because I just really, this has gotten me in such a good mood and maybe all this, like, I don't know, I just, I like it so yeah i'm gonna make myself some breakfast now i've been really back on my bowl grind i don't know what the deal is so i'm gonna do a mango one so i'm gonna do frozen banana as always and then i'm gonna do mango a little splash of almond milk And then we blend. Now I'm gonna throw in some almond butter. I've been really loving almond butter lately. Oop. Whoa. Let's do like a heaping spoonful of nut butter. This is like game changer. If you don't put nut butters in your smoothie, what are you doing? Ice cream. Heck yeah. So yummy. And then I'm gonna top it with purely Elizabeth granola, my favorite. Mm -mm -mm, so excited. Perfect breakfast. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. I am gonna do an outfit of the day. Top I just got from Free People. It's just like a basic cropped white high chested tank. I have no idea how to describe clothes. <laughs> and then these are new. These are from Abercrombie. They're a little bit too big, honestly, but I feel like if I throw them in the wash, they'll like shrink a little bit. I've been seeing these like longer jean shorts. I feel like they're so much better than, sh I'm so over short shorts because then my butt hangs out and like they're so uncomfortable. I feel like these are so nice, comfy, yet chic and sleek. And then I'm wearing my Nord Green watch. Um, and then as for rings, this is that Cartier dupe that I got on Amazon. This is a Princess Polly ring. It comes like in a pack. This is one of the ones that it comes with, um, as well as this one. And then this is a Majori ring. It's just the boyfriend stacker ring. My earrings are from Ana Luisa. They're just like the gold hoops. This is the first time I got ready in such a long time, so I'm feeling myself. I actually also got a whole bunch of new clothes. I'll show you guys like a quick little haul. All right, so I got um a black tank the one that i'm wearing right now it's basically the same one but it's just black this is from free people 
I just got a whole bunch of basics. So I also got these two pieces. These are from Nasty Gal. They are bodysuits. I'm really into the high chested tank because you can pair them with like a nice jacket, a throw, like a cardigan with some nice gold jewelry. But I didn't have any basic stuff. So this is basically the same thing as this, but it's longer and it's a bodysuit so it looks just like a tucked in version and it doesn't crop so i got that in black and white and then i got this basic black kind of flowy lower v-neck from nasty gal and then i got two sweatshirts so the first one is this giant oversized i wanted like oversized sweatshirts i like to be comfortable and cozy um so i got this one i really liked the color and it's i've never been to alaska but i really do want to go but i just I don't know, I liked the color and the vibe of this. I thought it was just really cute. And then this one's my favorite. So this one is a another oversized sweatshirt. It's just white on the front. So this is what it looks like on the front. And then this is the back. It's like a modern day etiquette for women. If you want to pause and read it, highly recommend it. I, just, I don't know, I just freaking love this so much. And then I got the white tank from Three People and then the Abercrombie shorts. I also did get some so socks, um, sandals, but they're not in yet. Once they're in, I'll show you guys, obviously. They're just like those, there's a name for them. It starts with a B, but they're a dupe on those and they're like inexpensive. I'm all for dupes. Last time I checked, Nasty All had like a huge sale and these sweatshirts and the etiquette one was only 14 bucks. So hopefully if that's still going, go check it out. I'll leave all the links to every single piece that I got down below for you guys go check it out hopefully it's still on sale you guys can snag it up all right guys i'm about to go run a few errands i need to get a few things i need to go to the grocery store i need to just get some little things um i need to go to cvs and then i also need to go to chase bank so just some sunday errands before i go i want to take my supplements so i'll show you guys what i've been taking i've been taking a probiotic really important for gut health and then I've been taking, obviously you guys know, I've been taking Magnesium Complex. This helps with stress and anxiety. And then, <coughs> L-Keratin, this is for muscle recovery. For like, your muscles. That's a big one. And then, I've been taking my care of the one that I was recommended was ashwanga i've heard really good things about it but basically after i took the quiz it says supports muscle strength and recovery and it's called the chill pill so i'm assuming it does both <laughs> and then the quote of the day i love how they have like little quotes i love these children learn more from what you are than what you teach very freaking true let's go run some errands <laughs> birthday card um i went to cvs picked her up this birthday card her birthday was yesterday i was gonna celebrate when i got there but i'm not coming for another month so i was like i should at least get her like a card and i found this card that is it was the only card left for like the label as mom birthday and it literally is me and my mom to a t and her color is purple because of her dad very significant in her family so it's purple it's really beautiful my mom takes cards very seriously every card that i ever get from my mom it's the most stunning card it means so much and like it always relates to our relationship she's the only person that i would actually spend like a ton of money on cards with because i know that it means so much to her and that's just like our thing. So I found this, it's just like everything. Thanks for putting me in my place when I was smart alecky. She used to always say that word. I think it's like a Southern thing. She's feeling, stop being a smart aleck. You're being smart alecky. <laughs> so I was like, perfect. Put that in the mail for her today. And then I also picked up a journal. I wanted a really pretty journal. 
but they didn't have any options at CVS. I'm the kind of person that I like the paper of the journal and like the bind of the journal way more than I like the cover and this one is just perfect because it like bends fully all the way like this and the paper quality is just really good. I'm really weird but I want to write in the stuff that I learned from Elevation Church. I want to start writing them in a journal because I feel like they're just like really good moments so if I just fill this journal up with like inspirational stuff and like aha moments I can like look back at it one day in my life. And then I picked up some stuff. I did go grocery shopping recently but there was just some things that were not available or they just were out of stock so I picked up some Ezekiel English muffins, apples, Love me some apples. They're like the perfect snack with almond butter, peanut butter. I've been obsessed with these Lynn and Larry's bars. I picked up, I wanted the chocolate chip. I've only ever had the chocolate chip. I think I've had the lemon one time. I want to try oatmeal. Fuck, I forgot the oatmeal. But this is the peanut butter chocolate chip one. I had gotten this one and I already ate half. And then I want to try this apple pie one. They're just a really good snack. They're soft cookies and they're like filled with protein and fiber and they're like a healthier alternative to a cookie. I picked up some olive oil cooking spray. I find this easier um, on the air fryer than like throwing and tossing in just a whole bunch of olive oil from the can. And then turkey bacon. I had this on my list and they didn't have it. I was like, damn it. Actually, I think I forgot to put it on my list, but we're all set now. a few episodes of Grey's Anatomy and I'm like really getting back onto that show. I'm on season 13 now. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys some things that I got. I picked up some cloth masks because I feel like they're just so much easier. And I found this on Amazon. Look how cute that is. I love the heart. It's like simple, not too like crazy pattern. I really like it. I will leave them linked down below. I got them on Amazon. And then I also got these things. They are protector furniture pads. So my couch is on hardwood. If I lean back on it, it will move. It just like moves very easily. So I got these and apparently if you put them on the... What are they called? Like little bottom. Um, on the bottom, they won't move so you they're like little circles here you peel them place them on the floor and they won't shift let's try it shall we all right hopefully it's not dirty under here i mean i guess i need to dust oh uh, yeah it's very dirty oh my god yuck I'm gonna sneeze in a second. So you put the sticky part on the bottom, like on the actual furniture. No, this is a little bit. I'm gonna have to lift this couch. Okay. Oh, good luck. Yay, it doesn't move. Is the underneath portion of anyone's furniture not dusty? Now it doesn't slide. Okay, good. Whew. So now it doesn't slide. Thank God. This is where my usual problem is. Like I'll sit here, lean back and it will slide, but look. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Amazon for the win. All right guys, I'm back. I just went, I'm back. You guys don't even know where I went. 
Just got back from a very long walk. Let's see how many steps did we do today. 6,902. During my walk, I found my first rat. Rats are my biggest fear in terms of like critters or bugs or anything like that. Rats to me just give me the heebie-jeebies. Like I really freaking hate rats. They're so gross to me. Um, and obviously I moved to like this city that is like rats are pretty prominent here and so I was like gonna see a rat it's basically inevitable and I'm just like waiting to see my first rat and I saw it today it was really sad but really gross at the same time I was walking and there was like this fence chain link fence there was a rat that was dead underneath it it like had went under tried to climb underneath it but got stuck it was so sad but also very gross like it was the rat was bigger than my head it was a big ass rat and it had like a fucking tail like so gross and then I'm walking like no joke like five more steps and then all of a sudden this helicopter goes up so like there's like a helicopter pad where i walk and i'm pretty close to the helicopter it's like from me to like my flowers and if you guys have ever been in the presence of a helicopter either landing or going up like there's just so much wind and new york is pretty dirty and i was by like a like a plant with trees and dirt and so all the dirt just started like going up around me and i was like holding on to my hat i was like oh my god oh my god yeah that was my walk <laughs> but i had a good time like i talked to my brother i got to facetime noah showed him like the city i like walking and facetiming people because i feel like we're walking together i'm getting outside getting some exercise it was just really nice you know it's six o'clock i'm going to transfer over to my bed you guys know at this time i typically will go to bed um go to bed sit on my bed um and throw on like a tv show and work a little bit so i'm gonna probably edit some of this footage i do want to show you guys my ipl size bugging me let me go in the light so you guys can see it a little bit more um so all of this right here is kind of coming to the surface and eventually will flake off so like all these like darker spots here will flake off and it feels very rough right now like my skin um but that's just because it's kind of like flaking off like i feel like a lizard like i'm getting a fresh new skin once all of this comes off so that's kind of this is day number two since i did the treatment which it's way better than last time last time i had a whole bunch of these um but i'll show you the progression as my vlogs go on and you'll see like how fresh and new my skin looks so yeah that's the update <laughs> the sun has officially set and i am going to open up my blinds gotta sleep with the windows open it helps me wake up with the sun and then i wake up at six and i get so much done and i just wake up in like such a happy beautiful mood i know you guys like these city shots so here you go <sighs> beautiful background noise of the honking <sighs> currently around eight o'clock um and now's the time i kind of typically like to ease down a little bit get ready for bed i edited edited i is it is edited a word i edit i edited i don't know i went ahead and edit this vlog footage um i was going to like go ahead and just finish the whole video but i'm honestly getting a little bit tired actually it's almost nine o'clock so i've edited as much as i can i'm just getting like a little bit tired and i don't want to do it anymore so i can do it tomorrow i'm not filming or anything so it'll give me something to do i find myself too if i like do everything in one night and i don't have anything else to do during the day um i get in my head a lot so it'll give me something to do tomorrow and put me in a good mood i wanted to show you guys a little book haul like book review um this is the book that i'm going to start tonight i've heard so many good things you guys said that this is like one of the best books that you guys have ever read so i'm really excited to read that it's like a really short book um it's a john green book so it is like a younger adult style book but i'm excited because there's a hulu series even though i just canceled my hulu i just remember that i'm gonna have to like resubscribe um this let me freaking tell you guys this book is the best book hands down i've ever read in my entire life you guys have to read this book oh my god i cried the characters were just like freaking beautiful the story is so 
good. Oh my god. I found myself screaming reading this book. It was so good. Once you start, you can't really put it down. I think I've only picked up this book a few times. And the last two times, it was like that much through the book and i read like that much in one sitting it was so good it changed my life it changed the way i look at books i don't think any other book will come up to how i feel about this book it's that good i will leave it linked down below for you guys if you are looking for a book please go pick this up and then dm me what you guys think and then i ended up reading this too the other day i just kind of like skimmed through it um during the day it's a lot of like um like workouts and like recipes like this and I honestly hated this book. I feel so bad. I feel like she has good intentions. I don't think she was like disingenuous. I think she honestly told like how she lives her lifestyle, but it was just very disorderly talking. Uh, she like calorie counted, tracks meals, weighs meals. Like she just goes overboard and it's the way she talked about it. It wasn't as if she had disordered thinking. It was just something that she did. I don't know, like it just, it was, if you have a disorder, do not pick up this book. I, it's just like trigger warnings everywhere, but she doesn't even say that. I don't know. I just, I didn't like it at all, at all. Um, and it's just very unrealistic. I, I freaking hated it, honestly. I feel really bad saying that because I really do like her as a person. The only thing that I really did like about it, I guess, is um, the recipes. So I'm going to use it as a recipe book. The strawberry shortcake looks to die for like a healthier alternative but i'm just gonna use it as like recipe book but i just didn't like it at all so sad but i loved this one i'm going to end the vlog here um i'm gonna probably just lay down read watch some youtube that's typically what i do i'll probably fall asleep around like 10 or 11 and then i wake up at 6 naturally with the light but i had a really really good day today i really cherish days like this i found myself being very proud of myself when i have days like this because i feel like old renee hold on my battery's dying there we go um, old Renee would just really hate this is this situation and focus on the negative and not be happy unless she got what she wanted. And I'm really just starting to learn how to make the most out of my situation. It kind of correlates to what the church thing was saying this morning, but about like not having control and just dealing with what you can and what is in your present moment right now. I've been trying to keep track of things that either a put me in a bad mood and had like a rut or. A negative state and things that make me happy so today I kind of summed up my day and things that are simplistic and realistic that make me have a good day number one is getting ready I don't know why if I don't get ready I just really feel like shit the rest of the day and I don't feel productive I don't really do that much I don't eat healthy and all that stuff so like getting ready and putting time into your appearance I don't know puts me in a good mood um working on something that is fun for you and to me that's vlogging so vlogging and picking up the camera today and like doing something creative this actually this might even be a bonus video i usually typically have videos that i plan on filming for the month and this was not planned i just was like you know i'm gonna pick up the camera today and it was a good day eating right um eating whole base meals and not snacking i didn't snack on endless snacks i really did eat breakfast lunch and dinner and i had two snacks in between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they were healthy snacks. I think I had like pretzels and apples with nut butter, not like endlessly snacking on just things in my kitchen because I ate whole based meals. I had a lot of protein, fiber, all that good stuff. Um, and then hydrating, I am on my third hydro flask. I don't know why. Stay hydrated and it just puts you in a good mood. I talk to family members, always much needed. If I don't talk to people, I tend to get in my head a lot and I get very upset. Um, so I talked to a lot of people today. I talked to my friend, my brother, my boyfriend, my mama, like, and then finding things that give you inspiration. And I think the church this morning really just like lit that positivity fire under me this morning because I got inspired. I felt a sense of hope and feeling okay with whatever's going on right now. And I think that can correlate in terms of, you know, watching something that's positively influencing you or like following certain influencers or friending people on your social media that inspire and motivate you that don't make you feel some type of way and yeah those are my little happiness tips I, that's what i've noticed at least that's what makes me happy it's very simple eat healthy drink hydrate talk to people exercise i forgot to say that i went outside took a walk today very simple things get ready find inspiration it's very simplistic it's 
it's crazy but i will i know that i will have bad days again like i'm not saying everything's gonna be perfect that's something that is so unattainable and i know i'm gonna be upset again during this whole thing but that doesn't take away from this moment right now because i know also when i do have those moments that i will also have days like this you know it's just life right now and that's life in general you shouldn't feel guilty for if you had a bad day and don't expect every day to be perfect and happy go lucky like today um but just work with what you can do what you can right now with the situation that's been given to you to try to make the most out of it and try to find the positive and the good out of it and that's what i did today and i just had a really freaking bomb day <laughs> so i hope you guys got some sort of inspiration from this i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did definitely give it a thumbs up i love you guys so freaking much good night good morning good afternoon whatever time it is that you're watching this i hope you guys are having an amazing day night afternoon love you guys bye